Hey, it's Junior Mint from MBSK, and I want to say that your long patience has weared, worn off. We are at 200 subscribers, which means you're going to know how to mod Slender and pretty much any other game. So, I'm going to try and make this as fast as possible. So, And this is a pre-recorded video, so here's a link. It's going to be in the subscription, the description, to the download for a program called TextMod. May have heard of it. I don't know. I'm gonna try and keep this tutorial quick. Sorry if I'm like stuttering or whatever <laughs> because it's kind of late. All right, so unzip it and then drag it into this folder that I've set up. This folder I set up for the tutorial. It has Slender in it, the game, and it has a folder called Out. I want you to make an Out folder, just an empty folder without, and then drag TextMod into your folder that you want all your stuff in. So you're going to open TextMod, then you're going to browse, then you're going to go to the Slender application, then you're going to go in there, and I want you to open up pretty much, I'm going to have, I want you to have the settings exactly like mine, BMP, and Enter is the best for those, and make your output to that out folder. So now you're going to want to run it and then go through Slender. And the controls for TextMod are on the numpad. Hopefully you guys have one of those and your keyboard isn't like one of the mini ones. The keys are plus, minus, and enter to save. So you're going to hold plus or minus and look through all these textures. And if you did all the settings right, Oh, that's the slender texture by the way and so you want to grab that so press enter on that all right now we're flipping through them and you may notice that some things are glowing green like see see those are the trees that's the texture for the trees glowing green so you can press enter and then we'll save that one to edit later see this guy's glowing green this is a the texture for the sky and there's the ground we're gonna grab that too for an example and now we're gonna go find Slenderman I'm gonna go back to that Slenderman texture and I'll show you that he'll be highlighted green in just a second I'm gonna skip forward there we go and there's Slenderman he's green so we're gonna grab his texture with enter glowing green yep it's about as green as you can get yep. let's close down slender and we're gonna go into the out folder and there will be four new files that the things we grabbed the slenderman texture the dirt and the trees and text mod which is the uh, text file that text mod uses to keep track of where these textures are so it can replace them that's pretty much how it works so now next step is to edit them so we're gonna I'm gonna be using paint.net because that's my favorite for like basic editing Alright, so uh, click and drag, I'm going to drag these in, I'm going to open each image and just for an example, you know, you can just scribble all over it and always make a new layer because that works the best. So I'm going to make it pink, I'm going to make a nice and a big scribble. There we go, just scribble them pink all over. It's just an example, you can do whatever you want. Get creative with it. Next, you have to go to Layer Properties. You have to put it on Overlay. If you do not make it transparent, there will most likely be an error in uh, the game. 
make it look ever look pretty weird, not right. So yeah, I always make a new layer and then layer properties and make it transparent or an overlay. It will turn out just right. Now 3D textures, they're the hardest to mess with for me if like you're not completely sure like you're not a pro at 3D texturing. Gonna write in for example MBSK but you'll see in a second that it won't come up exactly like this. It'll come up like upside down and inverted because Slenderman does textures like that, I don't know. So we're gonna save all our stuff. Just save and then replace the original files. All right, this is just an example, you can do whatever you want. Just I just scribbled all over just to make things quick. Just to show you guys what to do. I'm going to finish saving all these and then tell you how to apply the new textures that we just modified. Alright, so we're going to go in here. We're going to go to Browse. We're going to select that text file called Text Mod. And then you can put in your creator so no one steals your work. And then you can put in a description of your own. Alright, so that's basically it. Then we press build, and then you write in the, the whatever title you want. It's the title of your mod. And then you go into the first tab, then you hit browse, and then select that TPF file. And then you're going to want to hit run again, and if you did everything right, your mod should be applied. Feel free to give us a comment, message, whatever. If this has been a little confusing for you, I will definitely help you out if I can. See how it is a little inverted? Can't really read it very well. You can just do that manually, but I didn't want to get into that. See everything's everything's pink. So this is how you mod. Now we're gonna go find Slenderman for you. Nice and pink. Don't you love pink? First note, and it pretty much Slenderman or Slender is one of the easiest games to mod. So you won't have much trouble finding the textures for each thing you want to change. Where is this guy? We'll find him. Where is he? There he is. And he's pink. It's not all pink because I didn't cover the whole thing, but it was just an example. You will see pink on him. I'm gonna zoom in. Yep, there, he's pink. Can also change the color of his tentacles, which I believe I did in another video. So, I hope you liked it. That's our how to mod Slenderman or Slender and basically every other game. Just figure it out on your own. Tell me if you want more tutorials or if I didn't explain everything clear enough. It's kind of late, so I'm sorry about that. So, have a nice day and I hope you like this tutorial and have fun modding on your own. See you guys.